All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 5. So, last session, uh, I wanted to do a crow, and I accidentally asked Crow to be my tag partner, and he just said yes. So, uh, now we're just walking around with Crow as a tag partner. Now, am I going to keep Crow as my tag partner? Definitely not, because I don't like Crow. So, um, I don't really have any plans for this episode. Once again, you know, get closer to Akiza, uh, make money, win duels. You know how it is. You know, this, this, this series is definitely, um, uh, really casual. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with the game. I really am. So, um, I'm just gonna be just dueling against randoms. Uh, let's do a tag duel, you know. Like I said, maybe Crow can convince me. Cause I definitely know that last duel he did some pretty good plays. Uh, so if he can keep that up, maybe, but I, like I said, I just really do not like Crow. I don't like Crow, but don't like Black Wings. I don't like all the support they get. I just don't. So I probably won't be sticking with Crow no matter how impressive he is, but he does have some great cards, but I mean, come on, it's Black Wings, you know? So he keeps it up. I mean, I'll definitely use him to get easy victories, you know? Uh, you know, double, I mean, it's not like the life points are double, so do the same. It just, it'd be nice since I'm technically beating two people if I could get double the amount of money, but... I don't think it works like that. And then I actually have a pack that I'm looking forward to opening, which I believe is like Super Master of Spells or something like that, because um, I know there's like Heavy Storm in there, and I would like to pull a Heavy Storm, and I know there's Pot of Duality in there, and I would love more Pot of Duality. Obviously, I don't really special summon this deck. This deck is a fucking it's a helmet-ass beater deck. Another pack that I could probably go after is um, the the pack with skill drain because you know getting more skill drains you know put my helmet on but i would also need more um uh what's that beast guy's name that you summon him and he's 19 but if you tribute something he's 3000 i forgot his name beast king barbaros i believe that's his name wow so you do plays but you don't do much of anything like crow I, i'm like like crow you did things but you didn't do things you know Oh, this girl's playing Vylons. All right. Ah, it's been a while since I've seen Vylons. I think I think I have one friend play this deck, and he played it once, and I beat him really bad. And I've been with I beat him with like a Ubel deck, and you know. Okay, so her attack went down by a whole whopping three hundred till the end of the turn or something like that. Like, like all right, fuck boy. All right, well. I'm definitely going to be knocking Crow on that one, so yeah, here we go. My new Pot of Duality uh, recently added to the deck. So I've got Trap Hole, Doom Caliber, or Kaiku. I'm definitely going to be grabbing that Trap Hole. Trap Hole, my boy. Because i got plenty of monsters. Uh, I still am fine with the monster ratio. It's still half of the deck. Alright, so I'll play Bird of the Mighty. It was to drop you down to 16, and I believe I can attack over you. I want to say yes. Hopefully. We'll find out. We'll find out. Like I said, I'm not sure if... Oh, never mind. You got bottomless. Never mind. You know, at least I don't need to get any more bottomlesses. I have all my bottomlesses. So this card is destroyed by card effects and graveyard, blah, blah, blah. And then what does it say? This space of card is sent from the graveyard. You can add one. Is that including if I kill your monster by battle? That's what I'm kind of wondering. I said, I, I do not know violence. I don't know them at all. Yeah, it seems like it. So, even when it's sent from the field. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I will keep that in mind. Sorry about that, Crow. Probably should have let you kill it during the other person's turn so she wouldn't get the search. I'm all pa apologizing to the Tide Partner if it's not a computer or something. Like, it's clearly a fucking computer. And Reyna, I don't, I don't remember her. Oh, she's playing the fucking uh, Endymion deck. Alright, I mean... They both have fine decks. Wow. All right. I mean, yeah, you're activating a spell, but you're just gonna grab another magical synodile, so that's just one less card in your hand to have to really worry about. I think you. I don't think you're gonna get rid of your synodile for a synodile. And now you're just gonna touch yourself with the fucking tomb table. All right. So she just wants to build up them fucking spell cards. Did they used to do that? Did they used to do the the tomb table? I remember they used to do a little bit in spellbooks. And spellbook of judgment was they go. They would go tomb table, tomb table, tomb table, and you know that'd be three searches for spellbook of judgment. And, but we already have no know, know how bust that card is. So oh, well, you know what? That's actually pretty good. She throw in tomb Gemini out because why not? Yeah, you know? can't attack this turn, but I mean it can. It's still a nineteen beater, you know. So that's not terrible. Uh, does that card need tomb world? I can't remember. Um, Toon World is on the field is destroyed. If Toon World is... Oh, that, that, there we go. Sure, yeah. Monster set. God damn it. I kind of wanted to look at the fucking... 
Well, I'm not sure if she said that, but I wanted to kind of retune your mind. Uh, it's been a while since I've looked at that card. Do we have to have tune roll for that? I'm not sure. I don't know. Did I duel with the girl before? I feel like I've dueled against this girl before, this girl Reina. And I believe he has to be on the field to resolve his effect, so no summon from the deck for you, Crow. Damn, she fucked you up with that old man. Yeah, I remember dueling against a girl who played Own Vindictive and uh, the Apprentice, but I don't remember her playing Endymion, but did I just kick her butt so quick that I don't remember her ever playing that card? Not sure. The Violin Girl again. Alright. So, I mean, like I said, Crow is in control here, so... Damn. Damn! <laughs> he said, fuck you, Diddy Crow! <laughs> Damn. Oh, and you're going to trap hole anyway. I mean, if you were going to trap hole, then you didn't need to DD Crow because she wouldn't have resolved her normal summon anyway to equip anyway, but hey, whatever, fuckboy Crow. Whatever. Oh, I, apparently he gets some effect too when his card is like, what, destroyed by card effect or something? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Crow. You do your thing, girlfriend. Yeah, we'll summon DD Salent. Actually, you know what? Shouldn't have summoned DD Salent. That, that was actually not the right choice. Probably should have held on to DD Salent just in case that's summon a threat. But I do have a Smashing Ground. Uh, I did put more Smashing Grounds into the deck because I opened packs and got more of them. So now I have a place that has Smashing Grounds. And Smashing Grounds is actually a pretty, uh, a pretty decent card. Yeah, Smashing Grounds. Yeah, Fissure. You know. Damn, she's pulling off the Destiny Draw right now. Well, this sucks. This is the reason why I would like to get rid of these cards and get and put in more traps you know if i pull like more trap holes and stuff it's like a play during their turn because i mean by the time i turn around, the duel comes back around in my turn to me to activate smashing down it might be too late you know but i'd rather play cards like trap hole. i mean i already have my two bottom bottomlesses and my one mirror for it so that's fine uh if i can get some like some solemn warnings i believe solemn warning is at three in this game like if i can get three solemn warnings my boy <laughs> all right you actually gonna synchro summon or we're just gonna wrap this duel up you know, synchro summon with my monster, fuck boy. Fuck you, crow. See? This is the reason why I don't like you. You're a fucking dick. <laughs> You're a fucking dick, crow. Why would you synchro summon with my monster when you could easily summon with your monster? But no, it just had to be my monster, huh, fuck boy? Like, I think my monster is actually better than your fucking little whatever. Your fucking. Oh. Uh, is this arm? Yeah, bottle of spear, but hey. He's my shit. I believe he like goes up by like 500 and does pierce, I wanna say? Is that what he does? It's been a while since I've just looked at this guy in black. You don't see him too much anymore. Yeah, he goes up. Damn. Yeah, you, you get your flip effect, but you still take the damage, plus the plus the pierce, plus the clue, and I believe that's game. Damn, Crow is like, Shh, done. Hey. I mean, it's a little... Kinda. Kinda. You guys kind of got wrecked. Wow, that's a lot of points. Now, if I duel them again, does that mean that I would get the same amount, or would I get not as much? Now, that's what I'm not sure about. I'm gonna check and see if this Reina girl is her. No, this is definitely not Reina. I dueled against you, right? No, that was my first time dueling against you? Really? Hmm. Seems familiar. Alright, let's duel against this girl. And we'll tag it up, and uh, then we'll go ahead and call this an episode. You know, that should be plenty. Like I said, I'm not rude. I have an objective right now, which is to, of course, get uh, Akiza as my tag partner, but I kind of Akiza it all out for this day, you know? Like, you guys haven't seen the last episode since Thursday, but, I mean, nothing's really happened. Like, la it was just, what, last episode that we dueled against Akiza and we talked to her, so I guess we gotta wait till a new day before we really, you know, uh, work with Akiza again. You know, work on Akiza again, so... Alright, so we'll just do against this Kaya. And then we're also doing against what's her face again, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, I got Breaker. We'll like more Breaker, too. Alright, so. This Kaya girl, I wonder what she's playing. Oh, Plague. Ugh. Okay. Spell Striker. Uh huh. Are you gonna synchro summon? Or are you just summoning? Or Rhoda? Okay, where are you going with this? Stratos. Oh, well, I mean, you gotta play Stratos. You haven't conducted normal summon, so there's Stratos. Ah, Stratos. 
Every band list that I see you banned, I'm happy. Because you, you fucking suck. I hate you. <laughs> you know, I, I, if you ask me if I'm a proponent, oh my god. Alright. Is she actually gonna bust that out? She actually bust that out. Okay. I would say, if she actually summons fucking plasma, I'd be like, I'm in deep shit. I am in deep fucking doo doo. Because I do not have any spells right now. Alright. Man, he really loves playing that cards of black. Card for Black Feather. I mean, Allure of Darkness is better. It really is, but I'm not sure what Allure is. I'm not sure if Crow has it, but definitely better. Oh, right. Yeah, you can't special summon, right? If I remember correctly with this card. Damn! She, he said, fucking, get them pendulum scales out of here. I don't give a fuck. And he has Trap Stun, too. Uh, you can't special summon, right? Yeah. Yeah, Allura would have been much better. You, know, you at least would have got your fucking sure effect, but whatever, fuck boy. So. I wish got that at least. Uh. So. Obviously, are you gonna crash with, uh, Stratos? Yeah, looks like you're gonna crash with Stratos. So that's fine. Yep. Good job, Crow. Good job, Light. I know you wanted to get deeper in your deck, but I'm not a big proponent of you doing that play that you just did. But hey, whatever. Um... I guess I can summon... Nah, that's not good. Mmm... It would be a terrible choice right now, do you, Sam? Especially with the other girl and her fucking Stratos and shit. A trap stun just in case that girl has bottomless, because I know she had like bottomless last door, right? And trap stun's not bad. Yeah, I know. Move the counter, survive the battle. That's fine. The problem is that fucking 2000 booty, though. Like, you really don't have a way to get around that 2000 booty, because I'm assuming you're going to go to defense mode, right? Or, no, no, she might go on the offensive. Like I said, just sucks that I didn't open up with any of my trap cards. I didn't even open up with any of my spell cards. Oh, wow. Using your tag partner's turn. Ah! Uh, Ah, Gold Sark doing your, your tag fight this turn. Rip. Wow, really? Thought maybe you would, like, summon the Pike Spreader, maybe go into a Sync 6 or something like that? Goyo Guardian? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, Crow, your turn. Maybe you can Synchro Summon to get around that Defender? Possibly? I'm assuming that you're gonna go ahead and use it as... Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Why do I even summon her? <laughs> like, a sort of Christ, you just love synchroing with my shit. Yeah, that's fine. Arm winged fucking dick. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't need to see your fucking cutscene. See? Fucking Accusa wouldn't be using my shit. She probably would. But at least she would synchro someone in a black rose and black rose blubber. I shit. I don't, that's one thing that Accusa has over you, Crow. It's her fucking. Her dragon's actually good. What the fuck does your dragon do? Fucking nothing. Yeah. Alright, you got anything else? What's it? You know what you said? Let me see. Oh, you set the heavy storm. Damn, you got heavy storm too, fuck boy. Alright, I see you. Oh, shit. Breaker. Alright, breaker break. What you breaking? I said I also have a breaker. Okay, you gonna break that anti spell? Please don't break the heavy storm. That would suck. Yeah, he didn't break the anti spell. Thought so. Especially with Miss Spellcaster Girl over here. Oh shit, is she actually gonna sink six? Yeah, she is. How come the other girl didn't do that? I mean, she's the one that ran the plague spreader. Um, the magician girl, right? Oh no, explosive magician. Hello. I haven't seen you in forever. You know, one tuner monster, one uh, spellcaster monster, blah, 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 blah. All right, but you're stronger than us, and that's all that matters. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. I would I literally have to draw into one of my spells or traps to handle this situation. Please. Nope, nope, I'm just gonna draw into all my monsters. Great. Great. Yeah, I'll have you now. Nope. Hey. But now I like I said, I needed my spells to shut. Now my smashing ground would be great with her fucking twenty five hundred. Like what the fuck am I supposed to do now? You know? Like, I got fucking nothing. Now would be a great time to draw that skill drain. Like, I'm hoping Crow has something. 
you know, spell card or a trap card. I'll say summon back play, go sink eight. Stardust Dragon? That would suck. That would suck so bad. Oh my god. Are you actually gonna go into him? Uh-huh. Yep. Fucking Sky Blast of Tokens. Now Link Summon, Link Summon, Link Summon. No. Yeah, don't even... Oh, no, no. She's definitely synchroing. Oh, shit. Damn. There. Beating our ass. Oh, there. So why didn't you sync six last turn? There it is. Fucking Brio. Oh, my God. This is pretty errata. I think that's game. I think that might be game. Oh, my God. Is that game? <laughs> Yeah, you put this back in my hand and then they hit us directly at that. Like you got you got like fucking Crow, please. Please tell me you have something. I think I think we live and I think Crow has his destiny draw. If Crow has his destiny draw, maybe baby. I don't know how to set a card as my destiny draw. I should really do that. Like I should set like mirror force or something as my destiny draw. Nope, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> Damn. Damn, I was like, maybe that's not game. No, that's definitely game. Damn, that was my fault, Crow. Apologize. Apologize, that was my fault. I, I just drew into all monsters and they actually synch synchro summoned. Like, wow. Yeah. Yep, it's called a day. Alright, we're done. <laughs> Alright, so, like I said, I believe Crow and me are separate now. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call that an episode. So, uh, of course, we will be back next time, back on Thursday with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play and Yu-Gi-Oh! Talk Course Live. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Really do appreciate all your views. Like I said, I know the channel is kind of stagnant right now, but life is so hectic and busy, and it's just really easy when I get a chance to sit down and record for you guys and have some things some, for you guys, some content, because I really can't devote myself to, you know, live streaming when, you know, I have a job and I work during the weekends and league is just, ugh, so... Thank you guys for being so understanding, so cooperative. Uh, thanks for subscribing, watching content, despite that. But thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.